Welcome to this Saturday noontime prayer at the Church of the Holy Trinity in Juneau, Alaska. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord changed rivers into deserts, and water springs into thirsty ground. A fruitful land into salt flats, because of the wickedness of those who dwell there. He changed deserts into pools of water, and dry land into water springs. He settled the hungry there, and they founded a city to dwell in. They sowed fields and planted vineyards, and brought in a fruitful harvest. He blessed them so that they increased greatly. He did not let their herds decrease. Yet when they were diminished and brought low, through stress of adversity and sorrow, he pours contempt on princes and makes them wander in trackless wastes. He lifted up the poor out of misery and multiplied their families like flocks of sheep. The upright will see this and rejoice, but all the wickedness will shut its mouth. Whoever is wise will ponder these things and consider well the mercies of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Thanks be to God. Our reading today is from Romans. What then are we to say? Should we continue in sin in order that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who die to sin go on living in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, just so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we had been united with him in a death like his, we certainly will be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will live also with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us. 
us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see. In every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. And help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others, as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. We will now enter, offer our intercession. Let us be protectors of the beautiful nature around us, and let us be protectors of each other. We pray for the residents of Wildflower Court, the Pioneer Home, the Lemon Creek Correctional Center, the Johnson Youth Center. Be with everyone in this time of isolation. Ever-living Lord of the universe, our loving God, you raised up your priest, Cornelius Hill, the priest and chief among the Oneida. He was the last hereditary chief of the Oneida Nation to shepherd and defend his people against attempts to scatter them in the wilderness. Help us, like him, to be dedicated to truth and honor that we may come to that blessed state you have prepared for us through Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.